Hello again, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Tip number five on getting the most out of your technology. Have fun. Okay, okay, now I know a lot of you are immediately reacting to saying, well, come on, the previous tips. I have to cope with change. I have to deal with learning new stuff. You want me to back things up that I'm supposed to somehow stay safe. How can I have fun while I'm doing all that? You know, I think of it as a vicious or rather a virtuous circle. The more you learn, the more you cope with change, the more you do things, the more comfortable you'll be at it, the more fun you'll have with it. But the really neat part of that is that the more fun you have with it, the easier all that earlier stuff becomes. Learning is easier when it's fun. I read it somewhere just recently that there's a very strong indicator, very strong correlation between how much and how quickly and how easy people will learn new things if that learning is somehow made fun and engaging. That's your choice. You can choose to approach technology, computing, whatever, with a sense of fun, kind of like I do all the time. The neat thing, like I said, about this vicious slash virtuous circle is that over time, things like coping with change, eh, it becomes a little bit less of a deal. Learning new things, that becomes a habit. Backing up, well, that just sort of kind of goes to the background. You check on it every once in a while, but it's just sort of working. Staying safe. You know what? Eventually, over time, the more things you do to stay safe, the easier it becomes. That, too, becomes a habit. All of those things, all of those first four tips that I've been encouraging you to take on, to, to approach, are things that, when you do them, when you embrace them, they become easier. They go into the background, leaving tip number five, have fun. Look for the fun. You know, that whole idea of learning and everything being easier when what you're being presented with is presented in a fun and engaging way, that's a really, really strong argument, in my opinion, to go out and proactively look for the fun. Do things, approach things, engage in things with your technology that you believe you'll have fun with. It'll make a huge difference as to how successful and how much fun you're going to have with it. Remember, technology is way more than a tool. It opens doors, it makes things possible that we just weren't possible just a few years ago. Look at what I'm doing right now. I've said it before, I've said it elsewhere. Me standing in front of a camera talking to thousands and thousands of people. That's just not something that can happen or happened in previous years. That's something that our technology is now enabling and can enable for you. You can share your story with a friend or a community or the world if you want to, because of what we have in today's technology. And while you're at it, look for tomorrow's technology. It's an exciting time, it really is. I'm excited about it all, that's for sure. It's an exciting time to be here, it's an exciting time to experience all this, and it's an exciting time to just have fun with it. So, that's tip number five, have fun. The five tips to getting the most out of your technology, choose to cope with change, never stop learning, back up, stay safe, and have fun. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on my little experiment because indeed, this five tips, the videos that I've been doing, it's another experiment that I've been running to see what happens, to see how it goes, to see how the videos work, to see what I can do with this. I'm having fun with it. That's the whole point for me. That, in a large part, is exactly why I'm here. So what do you think? 
What do you think about tip number five, having fun? What do you think about the whole sequence? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you're watching this anywhere but on Ask Leo, head on over to this link. It'll show up there. Go to that page. You'll be able to leave your comments, your opinions. They all get read. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again next week with another video. Take care, everyone.